get to swimming. See you later, buddy. Well, that was a blow up right here. We're hooked up. There you go, babe. Oh, God, I don't oh, want it. You have to. Keep it tight. 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 Oh, she's got a giant. Okay, you're good. You're good right there. All right, pull up. All right, bring him to me. Well, the lady and I, we're going fishing. We started out the morning with a bad battery. So we had to go to Advanced Auto Parts and buy a brand new $280 battery. But he's going striper fishing now. And that's the lady, Katie. We got <laughs> snacks. And uh, you know what time it is. Christmas tree, Little Debbie time. And I had to buy one at Weigel. So stay tuned. We're going to go catch some skipjack. Or gizzard shad if we have to with the cast snap. And we're going to go pull some big giant live baits around here in East Tennessee and see if we can catch Katie's first ever big striper. Well, she's enjoying her energy drink, getting ready for the fishing after our debacle of uh, getting here this morning. And then I'm gonna fill up the bait tank with some fresh Fort Lousy water, Fort Nasty, or some skippies. And then hopefully we can catch bait and it doesn't take forever because it's already 12 o'clock. We had an hour, a couple hour distraction this morning but yeah water temps are down in the 60s so striper are getting more and more active on the main lake these skipjack are moving down from the dams back into the creek and you can actually keep them alive when the water temps in the 60s so getting our salt up in there and then Skipjack rigs that are a mess. Already a mess. We only need like 10 or so. I'm gonna let you throw that one. I'm gonna have to straighten the hooks back out. Bent a couple of them yesterday. That thing's messed up on that, so it doesn't want to load correctly now. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm gonna have to go get that fixed. I got all kinds of broken stuff, guys. Like, I'm rough on stuff, but also, I'm just like out here doing stuff all the time, and it just gets broken. But, you ready to try to catch some fish? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Still not awake yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, sometimes they sit in that little corner over there. Yeah. Hey, good enough. All right, we need like eight or ten. That's it. We just need like eight or ten. Yep. Got one. That's a bait. Just yes, missed. Hey, and we're you see how I'm barely touching these, babe? Yeah. When you're trying to keep them alive, you want to touch them as little as possible. I used to have a D hooker that you just go doop and it come off, but I don't know what happened to it. In typical me fashion, so. 
That's one. I did. You hit it about halfway back. When you don't see him busting you guys, let it sink to the bottom. And even sometimes when they're busting, you can't get bit, let it sink all the way to the bottom and bring it back because they're really depth sensitive sometimes, like where it's at in the water column. I've had them like bust them like crazy and then throw right on top of it and start reeling, not catch anything, but throw a little bit past them, let them sink to the bottom and reel it back and then they would hit it. Weirdos. But then sometimes it like five of them hit it when it, as soon as it hits the water. So you're just kind of, you kind of got to try everything. Throw it out kind of in line with it. Let her sink down. Right on the bottom now. There's a high school bass tournament going on out here. That, yep, there we go. I just threw it out there in the center bag and let it sink and hit it. No, I dropped him. We got a concussed skipjack. About 12 feet deep out there, so you gotta let it sink quite a ways. You got one, babe? Daddy's hooked up. Flip him in, babe. Over the boat. Yes. All righty. Grab him like that. Unhook. Oh, we got a tail in the mouth. Three. All right. We getting there. We getting there. What kind of retrieve did he hit it on? What kind of retrieve did he hit it on? Want to pay attention? That's usually when we catch it when we stop thinking about it. <laughs> My trawl motor just strangled itself up there on the cord and turned itself off anchor. Perfect. Well, we found the skippies, y'all. We found the skippies. They're chasing bait on this flat and on this point in the middle of the day. We got lucky just because the pretty lady Katie's here. Because I caught one skipjack yesterday in six hours. But we've caught... How many we got now? Five or six in 20 minutes? It's not gangbusters, but like, it's also the middle of the dang day. And there's five billion bass boats out here in this bass tournament. So, I mean, we're doing pretty good. If we can get five more, we're gonna just put it up and go, go stripering. We're not gonna fish right here, guys, for striper. We just came down here to get bait, and then we're gonna go put in on a different section of the lake and uh, go striper fish there. Going to send her one out in the channel. Good eye, good eye. Miss Katie's become the white bass queen every time. You haven't caught a white bass the whole time out here yet. Every other time we go, she catches the heck out of white bass. Like three times more than me or anybody else that's with us. And I've created a, oh, I got one, babe. Got one, got one, got one. Digging, stay on, baby. Oh, no, it came off. Oh, I jinxed myself. Oh. And he, uh, he tore my jiggy up. Uh oh, that hurt. But he was right where I thought he'd be. Miss Katie's got her a bait. God, very nice. There you go. She's got the skipjack hold down. There you go. Good looking bait, babe. That's seven. 
One more and we're gone. Where's my tail? Where's your tail? It's over there. I got a towel for it, guys. And a seat. I'm not that much of a heathen. <laughs> Only with the boys. She does. Real, real, babe. Flip in, flip in, flip in. Well, babe had a double. Lost one. We're skipjacking in a new area. He's like, do I let it sink? And I was like, I don't know. Second cast. Second cast. I got one on the bottom. All right. We got eight. We're fishing. But we're going to cast all around here and see if we can catch a couple more. Come on, guys. Apparently, there's a lot of skipjack back in this one. I think I had two on. Dang, we're just out in the center of this little bay. I don't think it's very deep back here. I could turn my depth on it. I'm on, babe. Yeah. He's coming at me. They're everywhere in this one. I may have a double. Or oh, this is a white bass. No, I have a double. I had a double. Well, we're no, we know where we're coming back to get bait again. <laughs> I'm gonna do two more casts. And we gotta do a water change. And then we're gonna get out of here. Thinking about take Cooking and painting the side of my bait tank white just so it reflects more water and it's not black. Did you hit? I'm on every cast over there, babe. I'm letting it sink. That's a bass. Must be a school active. Ooh, look, that, that bass is nasty. Look at that thing. That's a nasty bass. Why has he got yellow on him? I've never seen that yellow coloration on a bass before. Huh. All right. Look, they're busting up ahead of you. You see up there on that point? kids I just caught that bass in front of the fishing that tournament I'm on again I'm on again yeah let's skip that enough do one more cast just for fun and we're going back to the ramp and changing the water There's just more of them in here than there were over there. I think this one's way shallower than the other three too. Okay, yeah, they were mostly concentrated over there. All right. Good job, babe, we fishing. We fishing for big fish now. Doing this a fresh little water change in our baits. They're looking happy now. They were not looking happy for a second because we overfilled it, or I did. But uh, 
You're looking good now. Well, we be out striper fishing now. It's time. We're gonna pull a big old deep bank for striper with some big old, big old skipjack. I don't have any other words to describe them. <laughs> They're just big. And we're trying to catch Katie's first ever big striper. That's what we doing. Alrighty, alrighty. Boop, boop. Let's see what kind of baits we got in here. Oh yeah, it's a skip jack. Mm -hmm. Let's see the side on the couple. Let me see if they're alive still. That guy's dead. We're gonna get him out. We lost two on the way here, but that's all right. Maybe cut bait later. Well, he's trying to. But we had like 10 or 12 in there. Yeah, look at all these other ones. They're good. That's a bait, babe. Don't we'll use them whole. What do you think about that? Okay. <laughs> We're going to get waked to death first. Take this hook, go through his nostril here. Oh, oh. Yeah. I had one fall and almost put a treble hook in me the other day. And you take this guy, put it right there. So if they short bite it, they've got a treble. Oh. See ya, buddy. Go get eaten for us. I'll take one more bait, ma'am. That one in. Uh, put him down in the water. Go back to See how that guy's swimming now. Let's see if we can coax this guy back. We're gonna rock the new alpha board. Still trying to figure out these clips. They're just different kind. Like some clips are made for braid and some of them are made for mono. And I've got braid on. So. Alright, we gotta clear move ourselves out here. Alright guys, so we're gonna take, we're just gonna be running four baits all on boards and we're gonna be moving up and down this bank here. See if we can pick up an active striper that's on this ledge. Going with the old single hooker. When you single hook the skipjack in the back, they swim around a whole lot more actively than they do with uh, two hooks in them. So it's just kind of a different presentation for a dull striper. He's the one to act like he's dead, but he ain't. It's win, boy. One more big bait, please. the big bait sir uh... now get to swimming see you later buddy I'm gonna do something wacky you guys we're gonna put a down line straight back behind the motor just get them a little bit deeper we got eight ounces of weight on it to keep that skipjack down just to see. It is the middle of the day, so they may not be as determined to come way up off the bottom to eat a bait. So we're going to drop one way down to them. 
them in the back there. Let them down about 15 feet or so. Now we just put them in a rod holder, lock it down, and if that thing gets smoked, it's just gonna go straight down to the water. Be pretty sick, ideally. I need to get us back closer to that bank just a little bit. Oh, we got a chaser right here. Freaked out, came up to the surface. Ah, I don't want to get eaten. Too bad. You don't make the rules. <laughs> that one's coming up now. Yeah, they're nervous in this section right here. That's both of them. Something's down there after them. They don't like it. Getting chased. Jumping out the water, freaking out. There's something on him. Oh, he is scared out of his mind. I mean, he's freaking out. Something be on that booty. Well, that's a blow up right here. Yep. All right, put it down. Put it down. Put it down. Dang. No way. No way. That's crazy. I bet there's a dead skipjack on there now. Shoot. Did you see that, babe? We're up that. There you go, babe. Oh God, I don't oh, want it. You have to. Keep it tight, keep it tight, babe. keep it tight. Keep it tight, oh, she's got a giant. Keep it tight, keep it tight, keep it tight. You gotta keep that rod bent, rod bent, rod bent, babe, rod bent. Yes, 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 very nice. Okay, we're hooked up. She's got her first ever striper on, y'all. All right, John, your video cameraman. He's a vegan. Okay. Real bait, real. Keep real, keep real, keep real, keep real. Oh my god. That's a vegan. <laughs> real bait, real. Real, real, easy, easy, easy. You gotta be easy. <laughs> Real, real, you got a reel. You got a reel. These are way less forgiving. Okay, you're good. You're good right there. All right, pull up. Okay, you're good. You're good right there. All right, pull up. All right, bring him to me. Oh my god. You're good right there. All right, pull up. All right, bring him to me. Oh my god. Got him. High five, babe. How'd that fight compare to a catfish? Oh, wow, yeah, big difference. Ooh. <laughs> Got him. All right, we're gonna bring him in now. Way to go, babe. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. That's a toad. That's a toad. <laughs> Whew. What are you fooling about? Well, she got her first ever big striper. How you feeling? Good. Come on. <laughs> She's still afraid of the camera, but uh, yeah. Oh, we have another skipjack in there. 
We got more bait. Hey. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's get you a picture and uh, everything else. What do you say? Perfect. Well, there's Katie and her giant striper. That's a big one. She can barely hold them up. Yeah, I'm dying. All right. Go ahead and lay them down the water, nice and easy. Oh gosh. I can't. Get... I can't. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. He was fine. Like, he was beating the heck out of her before we put him back. Way to go, babe. Oh Mission gosh. success. <laughs> Caught her own bait. Got her a giant striper. Let's go. Ooh. What do you think, John? Your turn? <laughs> John holds the family record right now at like 54 pounds. Well, we forgot to film a closer yesterday for, or for this video that you're watching right now for the striper fishing thing. But uh, Katie caught her first ever big giant striper. What do you think about that? That was really cool. Yeah, what else? Are you strong? Oh, yeah. She still doesn't <laughs> like being on camera, but I'm trying. <laughs> she uh, she did great. Did great. It pulled real hard. Yeah. Uh, stay tuned for this video coming up where we're bank fishing for catfish and stripers with cut bait. So, yeah, like and subscribe to see me and Katie come out here doing this cool stuff. We'll see you.